Hello students, I am back with another video of interesting language which is also known as bootstrap. Today I will cover in this video that what is a div, the div tag defines a division or a specific section in an HTML document. The div tag is also used as a container for HTML which is styled with CSS. The tick tag is easily styled by using the class or ID. Now I also perform the here in my Visual Studio code. So open it. New file, save it in your directory which I created YouTube bootstrap and here give it a name with div. In head tag, you have to save that link which we used in Bootstrap to connect in the file. Here is the link. Now in body tag, open a div tag. This is this is our main div. In this div, I am typing a paragraph. As you know, we use p tag for paragraph. Main div. After that div, we have to create another div. In this div, I am using heading h1 and typing it left. Two. After that div, create another div. Here I use h2 for heading. In this I will type right div. Control S, save it and open it in Chrome. Open that folder, YouTube. Now you can see it's same as in HTML. For giving it a bootstrap look, we'll do style. Go back to the Visual Studio code. Now we do now we do styling. Give a class for div. You can also use ID class and ID. Work same in bootstrap division. If we use class in CSS, we have to use dot to specify it or if we using ID then we have to use hash now give it a class to the main div and the second one left will do it id The third one, right. Class right. Now above body tag, open a tag of style. A new tag, style. And start styling. 
as we use class here and give it a name with main so we use dot and the name of the class which is main open a curly braces and here start styling first of all width hundred percent of this screen laptop screen computer screen now height we can use height in percentage and px so i am using it here in px which is the abbreviation of pixels background color of this div in button there are the specific classes which i teach you in first video of bootstrap you have to use that classes in bootstrap for coloring a button but in background color you can use every color you want after this curly braces the second div we use id and name it left so we have to use here hash and the name left open curly braces here width i am using it here 45% because it's a left div and another one is right div when i open it and run it in chrome you can see what i'm doing give it a height i'll give height in pixels float left float left style keeps the div to the left corner of the chrome also give it a background color after this curly braces enter and the last div which is right and we use here class as you know we use dot to denote class and the name of the div is right in left div and right div in left and right div we use same width and same height same width and same height so here left div in left div i use 45% so i have to use here 45% after that height i use up 300 pixels now float right which keep the div at the left right corner of the chrome now background color
the auto suggestions of HTML use it Chrome brown now control has save it and open it in Chrome we have already opened and refresh it now you can see main div with yellow color right div and left div with different colors left heading is bold because we use here h1 we use here h2 and here paragraph if you want to color whole body you can also style here search a color in html suggestions which you like you can use i will use lime green control s save it open google chrome refresh it and that you can also give some setting to the right left div and right div here after heading open a tag and write div also after h2 open a tag of marquee and write div you can also change the color of font in styling so go ahead and just like that I'll use this and here I will use this one now save it open chrome and refresh phone color changed left div right div coming from here and here that's it this is today's class if you like this video then subscribe this channel and click on bell icon also if you have any questions ping me on facebook page link in description and social support on patreon come on guys what are you doing go create an account of patreon and social support on patreon also link in description thanks